Hello. And welcome back to another video and finally another server spotlight. It's been quite a while since I've made one of these videos and today we're going to actually be making it on a whole different game. We're going to be making it on the Red Dead Redemption 2 RP platform known as Red M and the server we're going to be looking at is of course Gold Rush Roleplay. Now again, since this is the first video for any Red M server that I've ever made, if you do want to learn how to actually download Red M, set it up, and join a server, the previous video that I posted before this one should give you everything you need. But let's just get into it right away. Again, going to be checking out the first Red M server that we've ever checked out on the channel. So starting off again, Gold Rush Roleplay is currently a public server with a population or a cap of 120 players. And every day I see that cap around, I think, 3 p.m. 4 p.m. EST is full all the way pretty much all the way until the morning uh, the server is very very populated there's a lot of ton of really good RPers on there and judging from what I've heard from a lot of people the staff make sure everyone stays in line stays in character and that everyone is having a good time so again this server spotlight is gonna be a little bit different since we are doing it on Red Dead Redemption 2 instead of on GTA um, so starting off we're gonna go over the general big features of the server then talk about the general or the best legal features and then of course the standout criminal features now again not everything will be mentioned in this video as there is a lot of hidden stuff as well and a lot of stuff that i of course just don't know yet but i'm going to be giving you guys the best overview of the server that i can do and again a lot of people have helped me with this uh so thanks to all those people as well you can check out i think irv helped me a ton of this so if you guys want to go check him out in the description make sure to go check him out give him a follow on twitch give him some love but Without further ado, let's just get into it right away. Again, so starting off, we're going to go over features, legal features, and illegal features. And then we're going to be hopping on the server for a little bit and checking out the server and really, you know, just getting an idea of what Red M or Red Dead Redemption 2 RP feels like and just checking out some of the stuff on the server. But before we go any further and we start talking about the features, I do have to mention that you will need TeamSpeak to actually be able to use the VoIP on the server. Uh, in this video, I'm very dumb and I did not go through the TeamSpeak stuff. So that's why you will, of course, not seeing me talk to anyone and, of course, not hearing anyone talk to me again. I am just dumb. You should definitely read the whole instructions and everything. Get the TeamSpeak, get that all set up, and you should be all good to go to talk in-game. But again, I am kind of dumb and didn't do that for this video, so you won't hear me talking to any other people, unfortunately. But let's uh, let's start it out with some of the general features of the server. Alrighty, so let's start with some of the general features for Gold Rush RP. Now again, these are just features that didn't fall under any specific category, such as legal or illegal. Again, most of these are legal though, and just different things you can do on the server. So, first of all, there's a full in-depth crafting system that has a 3x3 table, similar to, of course, the best game ever made, Minecraft. You can also craft a bunch of different items, I believe, in the new player experience portion of this video where we hop into the server. I show that off as well and actually pick up a crafting book that kind of shows a bunch of the different crafting recipes. You can also create a crafting bench to even craft higher tier items, which is also really, really cool. And there's a lot of different things you can use to, of course, in this crafting bench to make various different items. There's lots of custom interiors for law offices, fight clubs, news buildings, clothing stores, and a whole lot more, and they're all really high quality interiors from what I have seen. There is player housing where you're actually able to buy and own a house if you do want to. Again, I'm pretty sure you have to pay an upkeep for pretty much any business or house or campsite that you create. Again, you can also create campsites pretty much anywhere along the map and build various things on your campsite and kind of treat it as your house. These campsites you do have to pay a certain fee every week for, but really cool how you can basically set up a house pretty much anywhere on the map or at least a little camp. You can craft tents, campfires, and other things to help you along when you actually have your whole hideout set up. There are also trains for faster transportation and also a lot of these are pretty much almost all these from what I've heard are actually run by players. So you'll have people who actually run the train, go to different stations around, pick people up, drive them around to different spots. It's really, really cool. And again, makes for some really cool RP. There are also canoes and tons of different purchasable vehicles. Of course, you have horses, you have buggies, you can get carts, you can get canoes. There's a lot of really cool ways to transport around the map. 
that's gonna be pretty much it for kind of the general features they do have a pretty nice inventory system as well which you will also see in the new player experience part of this video but for just general kind of features that's going to be about it they have tons of you know obviously general stores gun shops saloons taverns uh there's a ton of regular stuff that you normally would expect about in the old west but those are just kind of some of these standout general runs now let's move on to the next thing which is going to be talking a little bit about the main legal features on the gold rush server okay so next again we're going to be talking about the main legal features you can do as a legal citizen again i'm going to try and go through both the legal and criminal features as fast as i can just so we can actually get into going onto the server and having you guys actually check out what the server is as you know a new player and what you might want to experience or try out so again let's start off with the legal features uh first of all there is gold panning where you can actually buy like a little gold pan you can go to various different spots on the map you can pan and for gold and try and find some that way you can become a horse trainer which i believe is a waitlisted job we're able to train horses i believe in the future you are also going to be able to breed horses to get different variations of them as well and sell these horses of course there are saloon owners um, also on gold rush if you want to own pretty much any business and you've been rping it for a while usually they will help you out with it which is really really cool so you could own a saloon you could own a general store you could actually play in the stock market they have actual stocks where you're able to buy them on certain days and sell them on certain days as well as they go up which is another really cool feature they have of course the usual fishing there are prison transports where you're able to you know if you go to jail you can actually get transported to prison through like a whole thing with the sheriffs or whatever it's actually really really cool from what i've heard there is a casino boat that actually has poker roulette and blackjack on it so you can go out to this casino boat using your previously mentioned canoe and actually go you know play some poker play some roulette play some blackjack and kind of chill on this boat that's the casino i think that's a really really cool thing there also are legal crop growing and crafting with sugarcane there's orange orchards apple orchards banana plantations lemon picking there's a ton of stuff if you really want to you can literally just be a farmer which is pretty cool there's a lot of different avenues i've seen with red dead where you can go and also i've noticed with red dead you know the money doesn't really matter as much as there's not much you can actually buy with your money so a lot more people on red m are there to rp which is really really cool as well there is treasure hunting as well there is a whole mining system there's a whole lumberjack system there's honestly a ton of stuff for the legal sign and then of course there's a bunch of rp that you as a player can just create on your own but again that's just a quick list of most of the legal features now let's talk a little bit about the criminal ones so again next we're going to quickly go over some of the main criminal features and as i said before not all of these are all of the criminal features these are just the ones that i was able to figure out or that i was told there are of course a lot of other hidden and unmarked criminal activities for you to figure out starting off though there is the creation of moonshine and you're actually able to create a moonshine still and i believe place this in different areas around the map and actually go create moonshine and then i believe you can sell it to locals or use it for other purposes there is swamp herb cigarettes which is basically just the equivalent of weed which you can actually pick and sell and actually grow to either locals or you can smoke it for a dazed visual effect and better health and stamina there are also cocoa seeds and farming where you can actually go farm cocoa seeds and leaves and use them to create cocaine which you can then use as an item to get reinforced health bars and have a little bit more hp during fights there are of course also a general store or gun store or saloon store robberies where you can go and rob their registers again nothing too crazy but you're able to actually go rob a bunch of different kinds of stores for their registers and you know obviously do the rp that comes along with that there are also bank robberies which are really cool and to do these bank robberies you have to get certain special keys from store robberies and every single kind of bank on the server has a different amount of lock boxes depending how big the bank is so you could hit a smaller bank where if you want kind of an easier time and hopefully less response from the law or if you want to go all out and hit the big big bank you can get a huge payout but obviously a lot of risk you're probably going to get a couple you know warrants out for you and it's a lot more risky but it might be worth the effort there is also grave digging where you can go rob people's graves kind of a scumbag move but you're able to do that there is also the lock pick and safe cracking for these stores and banks that were previously mentioned there are also ways for 
through criminal means to actually get different kinds of ammo that have different effects, such as an incendiary shot from, let's say, a shotgun, also known as Dragon's Breath, or, you know, different slugs for a shotgun, or maybe even ammo, just different ammo in general. There are also outlaw doctors that are basically just illegal doctors. So, you know, if you get hurt or, you know, you have like a little bit of a civilization building up and you don't want to go to the legal doctors in town, you know, you have people that you're rolling with that are wanted or maybe even you're wanted and you need someone to be able to attend to your medical needs. There are actually outlaw doctors that are able to do this for you. And I'm guessing some really core P comes from that as well. But I think that's going to be about it for most of the main features that I uncovered while looking through a bunch of Gold Rush stuff. In general, it seems like there's a lot, but we'll never know unless we hop in game. So next, we're going to hop in game, check everything out for a little bit, check out some of the features, explore a little bit, go through the character creation, you know, maybe even buy ourselves a gun, get some clothes, start looking good, and you know, just show you guys some of the basic features as a new player on the server. So again, let's go right into it with the new player experience. Alrighty, here we go again first time playing red dead redemption 2 rp again i tried to record this already before but it didn't go so well so again we're retrying now hopefully with a little bit more success so let's start off let's create our character let's do uh something different than the usual zez let's do zaveel and then instead of kobali let's do kobal ski boom super unique name boom and then i think what we're gonna do is probably spawn in so we want someone that's not super super populated uh i think when i tried this out a little bit earlier we spawned in ansberg we had to run down to van horn so we might just do the same exact thing just so we're not in too much of a populated area so we can kind of figure stuff out so spawn in ansberg and let's go into the character creation for again red dead redemption 2 on gold rush so let's start off uh first of all select our sex of course we're going to be male uh eye color let's just go with like uh, let's go with a nice little blue skin color we're gonna go a little bit darker than normal uh average you can also change your height which is different from gta gta you're not really able to change your height so again you can be a little small or again you can be a little bit bigger uh, i think we're gonna make it like pretty normal height also when using this do not use the scroll thing it doesn't work very well and it will bug you out i just recommend clicking the arrows on both sides next let's go change our face a little bit um again this might take a while to do all the customization for this so let's find like a nice face i'm probably just gonna go through this um i'll probably show you each customization thing so of course first of all we have face and uh yeah let me find one i like and then we'll go from there all right i think this face looks pretty decent we can still change your face width can make it let me do super small oh my that's not good and then super big i'll do Eh, pretty normal pretty normal looking head uh eyebrows we can change a lot about our eyebrows so we can change the height of course i think we're gonna leave all this stuff pretty we'll change the width to be maybe a little bit more do that real quick all right that should be all good ears width we can that's all good cheekbones do we want to change any of this uh And we should be good. Let's hit save. Save your character. Yes. Boom. Zaveel has been created. All right. Now, again, we are going to have to get ourselves dressed because it is not exactly the uh, warmest climate out. But if we're taking a little bit of a look at the map, we can see quite a lot in this little town. We, of course, have the little horse stables where you're able to take out your horses. We have a little shop. We have a saloon. We have a little store, an office, doctor's office, a little bathhouse gun company or gun store uh, a little christmas tree notice board butcher shop telegrams and again i didn't mention this earlier but the telegrams i believe also show up on discord or like when you post on the community boards they also show up on their discord so you can actually reach people that you wouldn't normally talk to uh there's like a little supplier here a sheriff's office we already go to the shop and then a knife maker first of all let's check out the shop because i think there's something there that we're gonna want to grab that i do want to show you guys ew sewer water did not did not see that there not good but i believe over here at this general store if we do access it was there a train coming in sounds like something's going on over there so let's open up the store and see what we can buy again there's a lot of stuff i think i looked a little bit earlier 
yeah there's a ton of stuff in here we got water cigarettes we got a cigar yeast pots watering can bandage there's a lot of stuff in here but there's one thing that i do want to show you guys and that would be if we can find it there it is the commonwealth crafting guide so let's buy that for five dollars again we have 245 dollars as you can see in the bottom right and if we open our inventory by hitting b we can check out this little crafting guide and if we use it it will bring this up for us and show us a bunch of the different crafting recipes in the game which is really really cool uh it kind of has like minecraft similar crafting again you put wood there you get planks with the plates you can make a, cr a crate you can also make a crafting table if you take two crates of wood and some planks again there's a lot of crafting in this game which is really really cool or at least on this server there's a lot of different crafting you can do and I actually place stuff down so you can go make i think we just saw it right up here uh camping you can like make an actual little camping spot you can make tents you can make basic tents torches bed rolls um i believe you can set up shop like set up a whole camp in certain spots and kind of make it your area to live in there's a lot of really cool stuff to go on with the crafting and you know honestly just the server in general if we keep looking here uh again there's a knife maker let's go check that out real quick see what that's about Alrighty, i believe this is a knife maker let's check it out and if we hit spacebar i think it said we can check out blades so let's see what we're able to buy here if anything is anything going to pop up does not look like it we hit b or space bar again doesn't seem like any you don't have the required job okay so i'm guessing we need a job for this someone's working here oh so you're actually able to craft them of course we don't have enough to actually make any of this seems like you're able to craft the little blades here which is pretty cool uh yeah pretty interesting let's keep going on though what else is in the town to check out uh, let's go check out the Christmas tree. See if maybe we were able to get like a little present down there or something. Let's check it out real fast. Oh, there it is. A little Christmas tree. Let's check it out. Uh, trigger with G. I'm not sure what this does. Oh, we got a present. Can we hit it again? You have already received a gift. Oh, well, we got a present. Might as well open this present. Let's open it up and see what we get. Item used. Christmas present. You got three lemon bubbly and eighteen dollars okay don't know what lemon bubbly fizzy lemonade refreshing in the heat of lemonade you know let's drink it up you know see how it is hmm it looks pretty good looks pretty good in here as well we have the train tickets as well so we're able to buy a train ticket here uh i believe there's a couple things but overall pretty cool but what we need to do first of all since it's very cold out is we need to head down all the way to the van horn trading post to go over to the clothing store and there's also a lot more to check out here such as a stable a boat shop and some other stores as well as a little blackjack table so let's head over to van horn see if we can get ourselves some clothing meet you guys once we're down there it's gonna be a very very cold run over all righty seems we are here over at the trading town let's go to the clothing store real quick we need to get some freaking clothes on so let's go do that real fast ah found it i'm just dumb it's 15 dollars to access it it's actually a lot of money i think but let's finally get some clothes on we look very freaking tired as well and cold uh let's do this so camera rotate with w and e oh, okay so we can go up down La or forward out and then are we able to actually like move so we're not covered by this thing i think we have to do it in here let's try and get a good view so we can actually see it there we go okay so what are we starting off with first probably the most important part where is it the boots oh my there is 624 different boots we uh we might be here for a while let me go find some boots i like and yeah i'll be right back five minutes later Alrighty, so i've gone for literally all of the boots and i believe it's between if i can find it 77 which is these which do look pretty nice and 467 i believe is the one i remember yeah these look really really nice as well we could go with like maybe some we could do like white Ooh, those white and black do look re kind of cool they do look kind of cool uh we might we could go for these again we can always change them uh, actually they look a little a little too dressy up i think we might just go with 77 if we can find those again boom i think we might just go with these for now um again it's a tough decision there is a lot of different boots 
I think we're going to go over these for now. We can always change them later. We might go actually to that 467 if we end up getting some nice white clothing as well. But let's keep going with the customization then. From here, I'm guessing next we're probably going to... Let me unzoom real quick. Move the camera back up. Uh, we're probably going to want to get a cloak or something. I'll uh, actually probably a coat to start off. Again, 521 different coats. There is a lot of freaking clothing on the server. I'm going to probably do all of this customization, this clothing. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys, I guess, in just, just a second. I'm just going to skip to when I am done. And there's a ton of clothing. We have, let me just look for some of the big ones. 238 belt buckles, 624 boots. We got 521 coats, 223 coats closed. 186 different things of eyewear 212 different gloves 966 different hats holy uh 153 different loadouts not sure what that is 104 different masks 312 different neck pieces uh 480 different shirts 284 different vests there's a lot of customization you're probably not going to see any two players that look pretty much anything alike but again let's customize all of this and get this all done and i will see you in just a second one eternity later all righty we have finished let me go over back into this menu so i can show you a little bit better but uh yeah it took there's a lot of customization so it took quite a while but this is what we ended up looking like i honestly think it looks really good uh honestly i think we're looking pretty freaking sexy so I'm not gonna lie i do think we look pretty damn good looking pretty fly honestly dude the uh the customization in this is way better than gta though there's so much more it is pretty damn crazy and again we're looking pretty good we got some nice boots we got some nice boots for sure you know got a lot of nice stuff nice little gun belt here as well nice little belt above it a little, little double belt action I might actually remove that belt at some point though actually uh yeah screw it we're removing the double belt we're removing the double belt there we go now we got a nice single belt we got the nice overcoat nice little bandana and then of course ending it with a nice little hat also something cool let's go outside so we can see a little bit better something really cool as well with this is that because we have that little bandana on our neck if we do slash bandana we can actually pull the bandana up which is pretty pretty cool honestly a really really cool addition a really cool feature honestly uh but we take that off and honestly dude we are i'm saying honestly a lot but we are looking we are looking oh oh i'm not sure what that's about i'm not sure why we're getting shot at what is happening not sure if that was a local or what's going on with that you will die here, you bastard. yeah i don't think these locals like me very much i'm not sure why is he coming after me no okay i'm not i'm not sure what's going on with that all right what else is in the town let's see gunsmith this is what i've been looking for let's go get ourselves armed up let's go do that i feel like that should be our first order of business be able to actually protect ourselves because it seems like there's some pretty crazy people around let's go over there and uh, see if we can purchase ourselves a weapon let's see if i can figure out how to figure out how to get down here there we go oh geez a little slip at the end all right let's see if there's anyone working here should be a little gunsmith in here locked this one's locked as well hmm yeah it seems like we have not had good luck trying to find a gunsmith yet we're gonna have to definitely look around we might have to go to one of the more populated cities that's gonna take a while to get there uh so let's look around more in this little city that we're in uh again there's a little blackjack there's a little shop let's check out if there's anything different at this shop and there was the other one also what is this down here shop menu we're we actually able to purchase a gun here please tell me we are buy weapons we are so we can get a lamont revolver or a double barrel shotgun i'm guessing you can get better weapons from the actual gunsmith but for now let's just get something to defend ourselves with let's get a revolver a lamont boom and then i'm pretty sure we should be able to purchase some ammo for that as well buy items let's buy like two ammo boxes or let's buy three ammo boxes boom we should be good now let's equip the revolver i'm guessing with this menu we have the lamont revolver let's use it use it and now do we have it here it does not seem like it. Wait, hold tab items again hold with me for a second we use it doesn't seem like anything's happening 
Hmm. Do we have to load it up first? Okay, there we go. It's loaded. Then we use it. And now it's in our holster. If you can see on the on the right side of us, the little holster there. We now have the revolver in it. Take it out with tab. Ooh, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Let's check it out in first person. Not horrible. Again, better than nothing. I see this is B for shotgun, which I'm not really sure. Oh, oh. Wait, does this hold? Not really sure what this is doing. Revolver, shotgun. Are we revolver on this? And then we can switch to shock. I'm not really sure. If this thing holds maybe shotgun shells or something like that. Then of course we can just hit tab to put it away. Again, pretty cool animations. Look at us. Woo, woo, woo. All right, I need to stop doing that. I'm going to be doing that for the rest of the time. Well, let's pull this out and let's actually use the ammo box as well. Ammo box used. Okay, and then we should be able to reload it. And then boom, we have it loaded all up. Now I'm not sure. Yeah, it seems like this thing has a shotgun mode as well. Where it shoots one shot of a shotgun, which is really interesting. I'm actually not sure how this weapon works. Very cool though, because you can switch between eight round uh, revolver and then a shotgun with one shot. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting weapon. All right, enough when we're going over the weapons, although we definitely want to get a little bit of a nicer looking pistol, a little bit more classy one in the future, which we will definitely work towards. But again, we're going to have to run quite a while to get anywhere, which is uh, definitely kind of annoying. But again, we might just want to grab a freaking donkey or something to start ourselves off just so we can get somewhere again not going to be the most distinguished ride but you know it'll be like our little starter horsey let's see again we have 176 dollars to spend let's see what we're able to buy from here so no 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 i'm guessing we're gonna have to purchase something really really bad like the uh donkey but let's see maybe we can get lucky and find something cheap oh 75 dollars for an actual horse we might have to go with that let's think of old penko that might be the one we have to go with all right yeah let's go with that old penko the mangy for 75 dollars let's conform it uh we're gonna name it um trashy because you know it's our first horse not gonna be that great sorry trashy but that's gonna be your name and then boom and then also i believe if we go back into the stable and we go to my horses I believe we're going to be able to actually customize the horse a little bit. Let's go over to my horses, check out trashy, select, and then I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to equip. Yeah, so we can change different saddle cloth. So let's get something kind of basic. Uh, that works. And let's get an actual saddle on. So we're not riding bareback anymore. Boom, minus 65. And then I believe we're able to actually pull out the horse over here. So if we go over here and we hit G should be able to take horse so i keep hearing someone's mic i'm not sure what that's about okay boom we got our horsey come on trashy let's go well, let's go trashy oh almost running into stuff as well already all right let's just follow these railroads these should lead us there i believe just follow the railroads all the way down and i'll see you guys once we're going over to a little bit more populated town of saint dennis Alrighty, we are over in, of course, St. Dennis. It took us quite a while to get here. We're just arriving now. We can go check some stuff out in the bigger town. Then we're probably going to call it for the night. Uh, also, something cool that is pretty, pretty interesting is if you get off your horse and you hold, I believe, left alt, you actually can check the storage of the horse. So the horse has actual storage as well, which is pretty cool. I believe we can just like, wait, can we just put it on the horse like that? boom and then if we want to access the horse boom it will have it on it pretty cool pretty cool feature that you're able to actually keep stuff on your horse pretty nice and of course i uh, was talking to some other people and apparently for the horses you really got to maintain them and when you buy a horse there's a lot more stats there's stats that are basically how fast it can go um how easily it gets scared by other things which i'm not really sure maybe gunshots or different animals the durability of the horse the top speed of the horse there's a lot of different factors that go into it again we just bought the cheapest one so you know we don't care too much but let's see what we're able to check out in town or what we should check out first was of course the regular shops that we saw a little blackjack in here wild rose saloon a bathhouse a notice board another christmas tree which i'm guessing we can only grab the christmas tree once a day or something like that a farmer's market with a bunch of different trading things over here a tavern 
uh gunsmith that probably actually has someone at it but again we don't have any money the stock exchange which is really cool there's actual stocks you can buy and sell for money which is really really nice uh the theater didn't know that was there a bounty board a sheriff's office Honestly, I'm kind of interested in the bounty board. So let's go check that out real quick. If I can figure out how to navigate my way down there. Where are we right now? I think if we go straight and take a left. Let's go check out the bounty board to see how that works. And I'll meet you guys once we're over there. So let's get off our horse real quick. Ah, stay there, trashy. Good girl. And let's see. I think, yeah, view bounty board. So let's check it out. See what is available. Seems we have one. Oh my, $2,000. So we have Lincoln Roads alive for mass distribution of illegal substances and murder of law officials. Lincoln Roads $2,000 reward wanted alive to face trial. So again, you go be a bounty hunter, go grab this guy, you know, talk to different people in different cities, try and get info about where he's about. And then of course, go find him and bring him in. And that's pretty cool. Again, I was thinking about maybe doing some bounty hunting stuff still thinking about what we really want to do on the server but i think that's gonna be about it for now uh again it's gonna take us a while or it's gonna take a lot more effort to go into anything else but uh yeah i don't want this video to be super long so i think we're gonna end it off here uh again first red dead redemption 2 server i have ever played on and we haven't played too much on it i think this is more slow burn definitely than gta so if you guys do want to see more episodes of gold rush roleplay make sure to let me know in the comments section below because i'm definitely up for making some more videos on this i'm honestly i loved all the wild west stuff and all the westerns back when i was younger and you know it's definitely cool being able to actually live out those fantasies now on an actual server and damn the graphics look a lot better than gta for sure but i think again that's gonna be about it for this video if you did enjoy it and it gave you some info about the first red dead redemption server we've checked out on the channel make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video